Hello, hello, welcome back to Red A Ted Art. Today we have some super cute mini pumpkin corks that we made. Um, just a quick fun little craft um, to do with, um, you know, upcycled corks. So come on, let's take a look and see how they're made. So to make our little cute pumpkins, I'm gonna use obviously a cork and a variety of paints. Now I'm using um, gloss enamels, acrylic and some Posca pens simply because I have them and because I really like them. It's really about using what you've got at home. I think just using acrylics would be great. Um, just using Posca pens would be great. So, I mean, it's really, really, really up to uh, what materials you have available. Don't go out and buy things if you don't need to. Um, but I love these enamels. They have a really nice finish. So I'm going to paint it orange, <laughs> get it all over. I actually needed two layers of this um, enamel just to make it look really, really lovely. Um, often one layer is enough, it's quite thick, but you know, just play it by ear and um, see how it goes. So once you have that painted, let it dry, add your second layer, and then we'll move to the next step. So it is dry, look at that, doesn't that look lovely? Now it's time to add a little bit of white. And I'm putting it up first because you can basically paint over it with a black later to get the super neat edges. So you, you don't have to fiddle too much about um, your tuxedo. So actually I think probably a little bit much. Let's just put a little bit on, get some of this blob off. <laughs> you could probably paint all of it white actually. But uh, I'm just going to put a little triangle. You saw me looking at the uh, sh the, the cork because uh, this is where the face will be. So choose the side you like best for the face and then just paint a big triangle and let that dry. So it's quite a generous triangle. There we go. Let it dry. And the next up, time for the black. So I'm going to do the same again, get a little bit of black acrylic or whatever paints you've got, put it on your cork, maybe a little bit more, and paint. <laughs> Um, if you let it dry fully, in some ways it's better because you can then um, handle it better without accidentally smudging it. But I'm a little bit, just for the video, I just want to show you quickly how to finish it off and I'll just hopefully not smudge it <laughs> with my handling. So I'm going to give it a little bow tie. And then get my black. Put some little buttons down the middle. pop it down and let it dry and then you have your little pumpkin spinach we'll take a look at them all together in just a moment so here they are all again our first one our second one and our third one aren't they cute our little pumpkin corks for halloween i think we're going to pop these into our little free library um, i think they make a really cute decoration and yeah, it was really fun to make. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Above all, keep watching, keep making, and I'd love to see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.